what up? It's me, your boy Jay Skeepin. Welcome back to Courage the video. This is Courage OW or the Old Wind, the 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 uh, the, uh, the, uh, the uh, that one, the ARG game, you know, the thing, the stuff, the one that we played a while back. Y'all want me to revisit it? So we here. We're gonna dig deep. We're gonna find the stuff. I have recently watched a game theory video on this just to catch myself up, and I watched my old video on it. So we're gonna go through. We're gonna secret hunt. We're gonna find everything we found before. But we're gonna do it in style, and I have a lot more information regarding some of the sounds in the game, some of the secrets and the whatever, what everything says. Um, let's just play. Hey, uh, space bar. Hey, we're loading the game. We in here. We in here. We're doing it. All right. So we load the game. It's all normal. Looks like it's just. Oh man, I forgot about the controls in this thing. Yo. Okay. All right. All right. So I'm gonna explore a little bit. Before consulting my guide, my list of things that I wrote down for myself to do in this game. And I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna look around, you know, you know, why not, why not just look around? We only know about, like, jumping and stuff, so. There's this. E. Okay. There's a little bubble. We got a little hole with the, with the mouse, mouse hole. And we, we got, we got, hi. Interact with the, the PC. And I guess we just go back downstairs. Why not? I do vaguely remember this. Just not specifics. Yep. Now everything's evil. It's red and evil. Um, so now we can just leave. Oh, now everything's normal. Like nothing ever happened. Now let's go back up and probably loop again, right? Because I don't think we were supposed to touch that. N yes, I remember this. Is my mouse on the screen? It's not. Okay, cool. I remember you. Hi. Find them. So this is talking about the three missing data screens that is is shown in the uh, 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 the, the itch.io page for this game, which link in the description. As always, always link your games in the description. It takes two seconds. It takes two seconds. It takes two. Se it takes zero time, literally. And it's so much easier to find games if you want to play them yourself. If there's a link in the description, I mean, I can't stress enough how important it is. Oh. Yes, I remember this. We out, we in the dark, in the dark world. The dark world. <laughs> oh, what was that? Sir? Any, any sound? All right, so on my guide that I have over here, I don't know. We're just, we're just gonna kind of, I'm just gonna go with it. So, okay, so in the text files, I'm just gonna go over what's in the logs, all right? So in the log file, like if you go through the game's files, there is a text document. It's just dot. It's it's just a period. Dot dot text. And wait, do I go this way? I hear burbs. I probably do, right? It's probably over here. I don't hear them now. Wait, were they supposed to? Do I go through the wall or no? Nah? Anyway, anyway. It, it says, she followed the rules, he broke the rules. The O-W was all the way to the right. And we all know they're talking about old wind. I'm just going to hug the right wall. I feel like that's all I do. But maybe I can't do it yet. Maybe I have to interact with stuff. I remember there being, like, question marks over here. There's, like, a question mark I can touch. You can play this whole game with one hand. It's over here. So yep, there it is. There it is. Hi. All right. It made a little snapping sound. Oh. Oh, is that bad? Um, I don't know what that means. Let's just click that and go. We clicked them both. I don't, <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know the specifics about how all this was made. I do know we have to follow this symbol over here at some point. And I don't remember seeing that. In the theory video, I don't remember seeing uh, seeing Matt Pat actually follow the. This is the old wind symbol, I guess, because you got to follow it and click these in order by the path. I just don't remember. I don't even remember what it does, dude. I don't remember what it does. I don't. I mean, they, they might have done it, and it's just not important. <laughs> I mean, everything's got to be important, though, right? Everything's got a little a little bit of information. Maybe I don't go yet. Maybe I got to touch this. Maybe. That's bad. Yeah, that that's bad because it's supposed to be a certain 
order that you do it in. Is there anything over here? Look at me forgetting literally how to do everything in the game. So I know it doesn't get that boo sound when you interact with it if it's the right order. Maybe you have to do the pentagram thing to open the invisible wall to get to the birds that I was hearing. Or maybe this wall is somewhere else completely different. Maybe it's not where the birds were. Maybe it's somewhere else and I'm just throwing myself off because I don't I don't remember. I I I know I, I remember it being behind this wall here. I remember it being here. Specifically. Maybe I do have to do the thing in order. So let's do that. Let's go back. Actually, I want to click the the other thing over here. So this is boo. But let's click you. And then let's go and see if maybe that does anything. Dude, I don't know. I don't know. Let's just go. It's cool. I know there's a thing here. I know I can get through the wall. There's birds <coughs> chirping. I can hear them. I just know it. I just know it. Maybe maybe not. Maybe I'm maybe I'm just crazy. So let's go ahead and do the path following thing. And let's follow the pentagram path. So we click this one here. Um, uh, where are you? That one. Okay. And I, I want to try this wall again after clicking that one, just in case. This place is so eerily silent too, by the way. Do you hear that? That nothingness? The complete just emptiness of everything going on in the game. Or nothing going on in the game at all. There's nothing. Nothing but empty. Nothing but nothing. Nothing but... Am I doing this right? <laughs> I'm checking all the walls, man. I'm checking all the walls. Because I know for sure that you can go through one of them. I remember it. Okay, so let's start with the old wind symbol. Where do we start? Right here. Okay, so this one probably. Yep. See, that didn't do the boo. So, then this one. And see, I'm following the path of the symbol. And then it goes to this one. Yep. This is the only thing I can really think to do. Maybe Theory did do this, and I just, like, I, I didn't hear that part of the video. Yeah. Yeah. I wasn't really, admittedly, I wasn't really paying attention, so. Hey! Okay, so that made a happy sound. I solved the puzzle. So now maybe I can get through the wall. <gasps> that is what it was. You have to solve the puzzle. Okay. So no way they didn't do that then. You have to do it. Uh, so now I think we just jump off. And it should crash the game. It crashed the game. That's what we wanted though. We're back in the game. Let's, let's start. I keep hitting enter. <laughs> let's start it up. Let's see what we got going on here. Loading game. Loading. Okay, so we're back in the house. It's empty. Uh, I don't know. I don't remember this. I don't remember anything. What in the world? What am I doing in my life? Click. Nothing. Go downstairs. There's a clock. Hi. Is there anything I can interact with? That is, um, oh man. Oh man, that's, um, that's Morse code. And it says, learn the way of the old wind. So we're gonna go now. Here? Here! Hey, and is the data missing screen? Editing J should be adjusting the brightness contrast so you can see the message on this data missing screen. And it should say, father wasn't home all right so i went in and i deleted my uh my save game and this screen popped up obviously the screen was not up at the start of the video 
This is an unfinished game. We tried our best to come up with a playable version of it, but keep in mind that this game has bugs, broken levels, and nearly unplayable sections. We've established that in this build, there are at least three levels connected to completely broken sections. We couldn't find out how to access them, even though it's possible to do it, but if we were, we were able to put the data missing screens on them. So if you find one of those levels, please try to describe exactly how you found it in the game's itch.io page. We couldn't set up direct controller input for this port, so here's a diagram that shows keys correspond with whatever controller buttons they do. Press escape to start the game, boink. And that's, that's where we left off. That's, that's, I did not see that before. <laughs> Cause I did not delete my save file and my PC before going into this. So we're starting over. We out here. Um, I think we just got to go through the same charade that we did when we first jumped in. But now we know the whole thing with the, uh, following the path. We got, I guess we got to follow the path every single time to open up that little passageway on the side. And I think what what we do is there's a um there's a uh oh my god there's a there's a question mark at the end of the path where we jumped off i think we interact with that and then we go back to the main area and i think something changed if i remember correctly and that should take us straight to another one so he's gonna say find them so we found one and all this puts together a story, by the way, and via the save files. Like, when you go to delete the save files, if you open them, they each have, like, a section of a message. Oh, I gotta go outside, right? They all have, like, a section of a message, and the message should read. So, let's, let's grab this. Hi. And see, I'm confused because there are other question marks in this game that could be used to do something. They could do something. But what? I don't know. So, there's gotta be more secrets unexplained there's got to be more puzzle pieces in this game that people haven't found or if people have found them i know there's a whole discord server on this game i'm, I'm sure people have found them um uh, uh I've, i haven't seen like any like crazy further deep dives beyond what i've done on this game of course i haven't done like an extensive amount of research into this game either like it's just kind of been like a passing like oh this is a cool game kind of like crow 64 or Catastrophe Crow, as you guys know of it, of it, it by the name you get. And by the way, if you guys want me to revisit Catastrophe Crow, I will do that. I do have a playable version of that, or at least like a decompile kind of thing. So now we know we go over here, we interact with this, and it should spawn a thing. All right, so that should have changed something in this area, but I want to, I want, there's a, there's a second question mark where you spawn. I don't know what that does. If you guys know what that does, let me know. Uh, but I don't, I don't, I don't recall. Um, if there's, if it's a thing, then I don't know. There's like a, a fourth ending or something floating around in this game that people haven't found or if people found, like I said, it's gone. So here we go. We have Muriel's little memorial and memoriam. And I think if we click this, it just crashes the game. So heads up. Glitchies. Yeah, it's crashed. We're back in the game again after the crash, interacting with Muriel's thingy. And let's see what happens. Yep, yeah, okay, so I remember this. This is why I have this program called Reshade attached to the game. So if you hit home, you can bring up Reshade, you can hit display depth, and it cheats. It cuts the screen in half. I don't like that, but it, it it's a cheat. It's a cheat code. Now I can see because there's hidden paths, you know? You see right there, if I turn off display depth and then close this back up, you can actually see right here where you see the path. And if you listen to the audio, it's the kind of audio you can put through a spectrogram. And if you put this audio through a spectrogram or spectrograph, I still don't know what it's called, dude. Oh my God. Um, it, it prints an image of, it gives you an image of the map for, uh, for this section of the game but you know what we ain't about that life we we have the technology so we're just gonna use this so um another thing there's a file there, there's a lot of text documents but there's there's one there's a text document that says um oh god what does it say it's it's like if you if you wish to start over like d erase time which is delete the game or if you if you make a mistake or something like that or if you're stuck um and then uh, what what did we read earlier it was go right to learn the secrets of the old wind so if we we spawn facing this way so if we go right it should give us another data missing screen but if we go left i actually think that gives us yet another way to get so there are two ways there's one way where you can go and you can learn the way of the old wind and then there's the other way where you can go and you can 
not learn the way the old one. So we're gonna go right first. We got we got nice nice little distance ahead of us to go. So we got some talking to do. We're just uh, on this nice little purple plane with with courage. Courage. Um, editing J may or may not stretch this this out so it doesn't just straight up show you only half the screen. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not editing J. I mean, I guess I am editing J, but not right now. I'm not. And if I forget, then I forget. I don't know. I've been, I've been recently leaving myself notes for editing in the titles of the video files. <laughs> Along with, like, the order with each one. Like, if I ever, if I think of, like, an editing note, I usually just, like, stop recording, and then I name the video file that note. I know it's not very, I mean, I could always just open a text document up and tell myself, but I want to know. I want to know. So, most of the cuts you see in my videos, fun fact, are me going, oh, shit, I gotta tell myself something real quick. Like, hey, maybe you should... You should stretch the screen out or any game crash really is going to be a cut because I don't, I don't, I don't mind showing my desktop to y'all. Obviously I've shown it in past videos. I've shown it in recent videos for like a frame or two. I don't really care that much, but, uh, I don't know. I'm trying to, I'm trying to work my way up. You know, <laughs> I want to show a little bit of professionalism in my videos and I feel like straight up just not giving a shit. It's, it's not, it's only going to take me so far. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I've been trying a lot harder um, on YouTube lately. I've been, I've been really, I've been watching analytics and the algorithm like crazy on my channel, and I've just been, I've been try harding. I've been trying to grow. Like I, it's time, and I feel like, I feel like my channel is is more healthy than it's ever been right now. Like I'm, it, I may have almost forty thousand subscribers. I think I actually just hit, or I'm about to hit, thirty nine thousand. I wish that number was lower because my views to subs ratio is not optimal. There's that. Is there anything up here? No, you just fall off. Okay. Uh, but I mean, I, I would like it to be better. It's not bad. It's the best it's ever been, but I would like it to be better. Anyway, let's do this. It should crash the game. No. Okay. So let's turn reshade off then. Cause it show, obviously you see the house. So it takes us to the scene with the house. I remember, I remember this, so it's all dark, and if you just head straight, there's no pitfalls or anything here. But if you just head straight, it should slowly, like, show the light fading. Yep, there it is. Dude, this game's really well done. Like, I, I like the shader that's been put on it. Oh, another cool thing you can do with reshade that I want to show you guys. You can actually put other effects on here to, like, change the shading in the game. Like, there's, there's one I saw... That was, um, oh my god, I got something in my eye. I'm so sorry, y'all. There's one I saw that's like advanced C, yep, yeah, this one. And you can put like a CRT effect on the game. That's so sick. I think it's cool. I think it's really cool. And you can, I think you can use reshade, but this is not sponsored, by the way. So you can use reshade with other things too. So we go up to the house. Can we go in the house? Oh. Oh. Yo, the movement changed. Instead of the uh a and d moving the camera oh oh it's just a flat it's just flat there's no house here that's kind of funny okay so we got robert wheeler i want to say game theory game theory game theory solving solving see this is what happens when i revisit a game that i deep dived a long time ago a deep dove deep dove a long time ago <laughs> i don't know um i know i know things and i can kind of explain story a little bit i guess not really but you know watch the theory videos why it's up uh so yeah robert wheeler will will wh wh wheeler we interact with this and it should it might it might crash the game just be ready for crashes everywhere crash yeah, crash. We're going back in. It might give us a data missing screen. I don't remember. I don't remember shit. I really don't. I I, I know I just watched a theory video on this. Ooh, hold up. Let's do reshade here and see. I just want to see what it shows. What do you what what do we see? Oh, it's just the house. This is a regular ass house. There ain't nothing here. I bet I know I know we're supposed to go upstairs here. We are we are for sure supposed to go upstairs here. So let's go upstairs here. I think it's gets scary. Oh, it's just darkness. That's not foreboding at all. Oh, that's the bad sound. Hi, Robert Wheeler. There it is. Data missing screen. Editing J will 
turn up the brightness and contrast when it fully loads in, etc. Do my eye has something in, in it, I swear to God. But this one says, this one says, Mr. Wheeler was here to, was there, sorry, Mr. Wheeler was there to greet me. It should say it like right above my face cam, I think. I think it's like a, a like a, like a cascade or whatever. I don't it's a column of words. I, anyway, that's this data missing screen. We, we have to delete our save file now. So the only thing we have left to do in this game at this point is take a left in that maze that we had to reshade and go to that chair. And that path should lead us to the last, the third and final missing data screen. Now I do have some stuff that I stole from the game theory video um, where uh, you certain certain things are changed in the files like the save file of the game uh, like certain phrases and the, the phrases are do you remember a time when the world was good and fair I don't those are those are all the phrases that we got so basically we change whatever phrase we have in each ending or whatever in the save file to a different specific phrase and see where it loads us up in the game when we load the game. Does that make sense? So we all know that we hit this and then we go, we do the, we do the symbol thing. So I want to, so it says on the top left, you can see the little paw prints. It says to find them. It's gotta be talking about the data missing screens, but it looks like there should be like some sort of like, it's, it's like a checklist or something, you know? Like it's a list of things to do that we that we need to follow. Like, is there a collectible in this game that people just haven't found? Um, I mean, the game has been said to be unfinished, and if I remember correctly, the developer of this found another <laughs> courage copy or something. So, I mean, we're gonna have to check that out. So we have to work our way to get back to the maze, which I think we just interact with this and then we interact with uh, Muriel. And it might crash the game again. <laughs> and then I think from there, we go back to the maze. I don't know, dude. I don't know. I feel like there's something else that we have to do with the old wind thing. Like maybe instead of clicking this, we click next to the beginning and it changes something. I don't know. I don't know. I I can't help but feel like there's just more to this. Like, this game isn't just this. Obviously, this doesn't take long to do. Like, I think, what's the video time at, like, 20-something minutes right now, maybe? I don't know. I have multiple, <laughs> multiple uh, recording files. So, we, we hit this. Maze time, baby. You know what that means. We do the display depth and we cheat, baby. So, we got to go left. And, I, I mean, there's a lot over there. You know, but I don't think there's anything that we can interact with. I remember actually going around the whole maze looking for stuff. If there is something, y'all know, y'all know what to do. Let me know if there's something I'm missing, something I don't know about that I need to know about. Tell me. So this, I think you have to actually go all the way around though, which is crazy to me. This is obviously the ending that like takes the most work. This is the ending that takes, because you're supposed to be able to do it without knowing these platforms are here. You're supposed to be able to do it without this reshade cheating program that we have. I mean, I, I don't know. Like, I I feel like it's it, it, it was meant to be crazy, almost not to be solved. And this, it blows my mind that people are finding things like this and that people are finding secrets like this in the game. I mean, it all boils down to the, we have the technology and people know how to handle these situations because they've done it before. So like, if there's anything like this that I got going on in a game where it's like, oh shit, the floor is invisible. We know we can just install reshade and target that program, blah, 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 and uh, reshade the program. But still, still, it's... It's a lot of thinking, a lot of thought went into making this, a lot of thought went into solving it. it. Like, I love games like this. I love ARGs and like, I'm, it's funny because like, I'm more into it for the puzzle of how do I make things happen on the screen. I'm not as into trying to figure out story or lore behind things, if that makes any sense. I'm more, I'm a secret hunter. 
not a not a decipherer if that makes sense i don't know it's just it's just the way i think i i like doing stuff i like finding things so if, the ultimate partnership like if i if i had like an ultimate gaming partner it would be it would be somebody who could investigate i think that that's the thing that's the that's my second half that's what i'm missing someone who can investigate all this crap that i'm finding in all these games like advanced education with Victor Strabovsky. Uh, without the wiki, I wouldn't know anything about the lore. I just, I'm just hunting stuff. I'm and following guides to find stuff. And there's that game, dude. There's so, there's so much in that game. There's like I have, I think, 13 videos on it. Outside of my original three, which were a long, long time ago. That was not necessary. That those were not deep dive videos. <laughs> uh, I used to do like challenge games, not necessarily deep, vi uh, deep dives. Uh, now I do deep dives and some challenge stuff, mostly like baldy stuff, harder difficulty games that other YouTubers won't do. Um, uh, sorry, excuse me. But now we out here, and yeah, I've done a lot of a, a lot of deep diving, and there's still so much that I haven't found. And I'm sure once I'm done with the series, there's still gonna be a good handful, a good chunk of stuff in that game that I have not seen. I actually have, uh, I, I'm planning on recording another one of those videos today, but you might see it before this one. I, I'm not sure. No, no, okay. If everything goes according to plan, that should come out tomorrow. I'm not gonna tell you what the deets are on it, because we're here now, but, you know, jump on the chair, interact with the chair. Crash. Yep. Let's hit this new game button, see what it does. Yeah, we out here. Getting the new game going. New game, right? Ha. Huh. Yeah. All right. So we collect these. They got the old wind symbol on them. If you didn't notice, like the. Oh, God. I forgot about that, dude. Yo, that's so creepy. Whoo, baby. Yeah, that's. That got me the first time, and that got me this time. Oh, I don't know. I don't like that. Can I just jump from here? Yeah, I can. Okay, well, you know, we gotta get them. I know you don't want me to get them. Oh, God, dude. Oh, hi, hello. Can we go in any of these other rooms? God, it's so... Oh. I don't like that. There's an entity in the game here with me. It, I literally, I'm, I'm like, I got bumps. I got goosebumps. Oh, Jesus, dude. I don't like that. So this is the last data missing screen. Editing J. Should be doing the thing I've said like twice already in the video. This one says it was her should be on the top left corner of the screen, and then Eleanor should be on the top right corner of the screen. I don't know. What does it all mean? I don't know. Game Theory thinks it's uh, the old wind. It's something to do with um, the t passage of time, and uh, and uh, following the old wind makes you immortal or something, or immortalizes you somehow, and uh, not following the old wind, you just die normally, you know? So, um... Yeah, that's that's the goal in theory. Uh, I'm gonna change the save file around and check some stuff out. And if there's anything I'll show you, if there's not, then you're about to see an outro. So, I must be doing something wrong because it keeps starting the game with the, uh, the controller screen that we keep seeing. Nothing is changing in the save file. I don't know how Matt Pat did that, but uh, we out here... That is Courage OW or Courage Old Wind or Courage the video game revisited. That's everything I know of to find. That's all the secrets that I'm aware of. The only question marks in my brain right now are about the question mark at the beginning of the area where you spawn with all like the, the, the dark twisty uh, material or textures everywhere. But yeah, that's, that's Courage OW. You guys wanted it. You guys got it deep dive complete i'm sure there's more i'm sure there's more if there is not more tell me if there is more tell me if you guys want to see me do crow 64 or catastrophe crow same game uh let me know i'll go back into that i'll do some some diving in that if there's anything else you guys want me to check out that's similar to this kind of thing 
let me know. And if you like it, I'll do more. Thank you so much for watching. You guys are awesome. I love you. Bye.